Ever look at your neighbor's backyard and wonder, how did they create that? Well, we did too. Welcome to Backyarding, where in six short days, four families battle it out through a series of challenges, fighting to be crowned best on the block. I'm Rachel Taylor, carpentress extraordinaire. And I'm Tyler Bankin, master landscape designer. And together, we're gonna help these families whip their backyards into shape one challenge at a time. Join us as we go Backyarding. backyarding. Welcome to Backyarding. We are now down to three families today. Who are all competing to transform their drab backyard spaces into an outdoor oasis. Woo -hoo! Welcome, Welcome back. back, families. Here we are at day five, but let's recap day one. Denise, Dennis, and Victoria won. Day two, Gigi and Ross won by the skin of their teeth. By the skin Bonus of their teeth. point, <laughs> doing the plant shopping, plant placing, and planting. Mm -hmm. Day three, the golden hammer was given to Team Red, Gary, and Tiffany. And now here we are at day five, one day away from the finale. There's a lot on the line. So let's go over our challenges for today. Challenge one is creating a menu to share with us and hopefully tomorrow at the finale with your friends and family for your possible backyard party. And then challenge number two is the presentation of that menu item. You will be cooking for us. Today, one of you will be eliminated, leaving just two families to face off in the final episode of Backyarding. Are you ready to cook? Yeah. All right. All right, families. Good luck. Can you believe it? Day five. I know, we did a lot. <laughs> we did, we did. Let's see what we transformed this whole space. We built the playset, which is apparently still being built by a little man, sitting under this pergola from Backyard Discoveries. It really does make a difference back here. It feels cooler, looks much nicer, but now to put the backyard to good use. So, what are you thinking? What are we going to make? Do you want to do fish tacos, chicken tacos? I want to make it out here, and I think it'd be easier to make the fish tacos outside. Yeah. And I think it's like something different. It is a warmer day, so I think it'd be kind of light. We can pick some cabbage, some mango. We can pickle some onion for some tortillas. Um, we'll get some of the the crema mangoes. Mm, some mangoes, good call. You know, I really want to incorporate our backyard, mm -hmm. so I think the lemon mousse. Ooh. Be really a really nice touch. I like that. Something a little light. So we'll need our lemons, and then um, to kind of top it off, we can use our mints. Oh. And then was there anything else? I think some kind of drink, something cool, refreshing. The Kalamati tree is actually bearing fruit. Yeah. So we can pick some of those okay. and put together a nice little drink for them. I think this is a winning menu. Yeah, I think this will really impress the judges. Well, we made it. Yeah. So the next challenge is coming up with a menu. So something we should think about are things that we can make in the backyard. Well, we could use our grill. I think the Filipino pork barbecue would be really nice. Oh, the one in skewers? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's good. That's your grandma's Yeah, that's family our mom's recipe. family recipe. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That is good. So I what's, think what's in the marinade? You know, the ketchup and the Worcester sauce. Garlic, right? Garlic. Yeah, lots of garlic, black pepper. A little bit of brown sugar. Black pepper. Because mm -hmm, it's slightly sweet. Yeah, slightly sweet. Of course, the smell of the charcoal. Charcoal, that's yeah. The you need to use yeah, charcoal. Yeah, 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 barbecue, definitely. Definitely yeah. for the backyard. We can also do some tri-tips with use our rosemary. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get That's some great. Rosemary really? from the backyard. Yeah. Vegetables. Yeah. Vegetables. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. veggies. Yeah, yeah. Barbecue with some veggies. Yeah, yeah. Be health conscious here. Yeah, zucchini. Oh yeah, plants. zucchini's in season. Good for and then, the grill. And then the apples too. Do we have all Maybe the ingredients? Maybe some drinks. Since okay. it's hot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hot. What Rachel and Tyler don't know is that we also built the cooler mm -hmm. so we can put the drinks in there and oh, yeah. surprise them. Yeah, sounds yeah. great. Okay. So we're judged on teamwork, presentation, and taste. That's I right. think All the right. taste, we're not going to fail on that one because Filipino barbecue is, is the best. <laughs> Hey, babe. I can't believe we made it. <laughs> I know. I was, I was touch and go for a minute there. But this is exciting. Day five, we get to do a cooking challenge. I know. This is uh, this is what you're good at. What are you thinking? Well, we have the grilled gazebo, so we should definitely do something over there. Do you want to do grilled pizza? Well, that sounds awesome. I think it would be a good idea. 
Do um, you know what we need for it? Let's use fresh ingredients from our garden if we can. So awesome. let's- We have the basil. We have the basil and we have the rosemary. So I think a pancetta, rosemary, caramelized onion, maybe. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. And then burrata, tomato, basil. I'm in, I want that right now. And maybe we should throw in a little something special and you should surprise them with your delicious Israeli salad. That's a good idea, it is a summer salad. Everybody who ever eats that at our house is obsessed with it. I think these are perfect dishes for cooking outside and enjoying outside. They're so summery and fresh. What do you think? I mean, we have all this great new outdoor places to sit, to cook, to entertain. Let's use it. Yeah. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so we're doing fish tacos. So first we're gonna salt and pepper the fish. It's really the only spices we use for this. A lot of the flavor comes from the batter and then some of the uh, sides we put on top. Oil is warming up right now for us. And now I'm gonna just cut the fish down into little strips. And we don't wanna make them too big, otherwise it'll cook unevenly. This is a uh, just a tilapia fish. You can use really any white fish that you like. Yeah, so we do Taco Thursdays um, every week and we rotate the protein and fish is my personal favorite. Now the batter is actually really simple. We like using, it's a Korean frying mix. It works really well, it gives the fish a really nice crisp and there's even sort of a, a flavor profile to the frying mix. Just add water to get the right consistency. Almost like making pancake batter, but you don't want it to be you know, as, as thick as that because you want the fish to obviously grab it. Once you get this kind of like runnier consistency, that means you've got enough water. I'm gonna put it off to the side. You throw the fish in, let it sit for a little while. The lemons are from our yard, <laughs> and the mint leaves. So now we're gonna just throw the, the battered fish into the oil. You don't wanna crowd the pot, right? Keep that temperature nice and consistent. You can see right away, as soon as it goes in, it starts to pick up. And time-wise, three to four minutes-ish kind of works. So while the fish is cooking, we're gonna prepare the cabbage slaw as well as the mango. So mango is very straightforward. You just slice up mango. You can season if you like, but it doesn't really need uh, much seasoning. Okay, and then for the cabbage, you just wanna have it nice and fine. You can go finer if you'd like, uh, but not too small. You're gonna take a little bit of lime and a little bit of salt. So the salt lets the cabbage release some liquid. Just a tiny amount, since we only have a little bit of cabbage. And then the lime juice. And then it'll kind of soak up all of it. And then it should come out to be kind of a little more watery. And this really gives it an extra layer of crunch for the fish. I think everything is ready. I think we can bring the judges in. Okay. My goodness. That part's for you, the rest is for me. So we decided to go with fish tacos. Uh -huh. We have a tradition in our household where we do taco Thursdays every week. We have a burner that we were able to put on our beautifully stained table. Do you all eat outside very much? You know, now we will. Yeah, I think we will more, more so than before. Okay. So, what's the process? Go ahead and grab a tortilla for each plate. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> and then you're gonna start with the sour cream. Uh, you're gonna put a, a layer on the base of the tortilla. Okay, wonderful. And then go ahead and grab, grab a few pieces of fish, as much as you want. What kind uh, of fish is this? So we use tilapia uh, uh, for this dish. Uh, uh -huh. You can use really any, any white fish. It okay. um, works well with this. Uh -huh. And then from there, you're gonna put some cabbage on top. So that's uh, lime-infused cabbage. Okay, ooh, lime-infused cabbage. Uh, infused might be the wrong word. And that'll give it a nice second layer of crunch as well. Okay. And then there are some um, diced mangoes. Mm -hmm. And then the last topping is going to be um, pickled red onions. So just take a few on there. Oh my goodness. So ready for this. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Taco cheers. Duh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no words. It's delicious. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> Tastes very fresh. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for outside. Mm -hmm. It's not too heavy. On a hot summer day, mm -hmm. the mango cools it off. And it's a great dish for an outdoor summer party. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done talking now for a while because I gotta eat. Couple more things for you mm -hmm. both. So I'm just gonna add a mint leaf here. Mm -hmm. for... Gosh, is this dessert? It is. So this is oh a God, lemon mousse. Beautiful. So here's from our 
mint plant that we newly acquired. Okay. This and we do have beautiful. a lemon tree. Uh -huh. but, you know, basically what's in there is just lemons, mint, whipping cream, sugar, just all blended together. Just being the lemon, it already screams outdoor mm -hmm. summertime dish. It does. Okay. Can we get seconds? Key lime pie has nothing on this. <laughs> it just is an explosion of citrus flavors along with the sweetness. I can just see myself walking around at a party with this and just chatting to people. This is a great dish. I love it. Okay. What is this? You have something so that there. is our Kalamundan juice. So our tree back there, we freshly squeezed it in its pure form. This is the color, but you don't want to drink it straight up unless you really like just pure sourness. It's fresh. It's citrusy, it's not too sweet. I could drink these all day long. This is really special. This is fantastic. I Cheers. Cheers. I love that it's a homegrown drink. And actually, um, calamansi juice is really well known in the Philippines and that's where you know my, my parents grew up. Well, this has been an exceptional presentation. We're really impressed. Oh my God, they are going to love your grilled pizza. It's like so simple, but like, it's also really beautiful and impressive. Yeah, and it, nobody expects a grilled pizza at a barbecue. You don't, you don't. Okay, here we go. Watch your fingers, please. How long does it take? You bake it a little bit on one side, then you flip it over. You can put the toppings on, close the lid for a couple of minutes, and it's done. It's like no time at all. I thought we could use the ingredients from the garden. We have basil and rosemary. I thought the rosemary would go nicely with pancetta and caramelized onions. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that sounds good. And then that the basil would go great with some burrata and tomato sauce. I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds to heat up and then I'll take them both out and we'll put the toppings on. Love it. Okay. These look gorgeous. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Oh my God, this smells so good. There's some basil. Beautiful. Let me grab some rosemary. I've got all the pizza toppings. Why don't you run in and get the ingredients for the salad? All right, I'll Okay. So first we're gonna add the sauce and you don't wanna put too much. And you just spread it out really even. It's gonna be so yummy. Ross and I actually met in Italy, so this is sort of an homage to us. This is the burrata, which is like a really delicious, fresh Italian cheese. It's like the gooey inside of the mozzarella. The fresh herbs I'm not gonna add until the very end because you don't really wanna cook those. This is um, just some shredded mozzarella on the uh, second one. Traditional. Delicious pizza topping. This is pancetta, which is Italian bacon. And I pre-cooked it because this pizza cooks so fast in the grill that you don't really have time to um, fully cook the toppings while you're cooking the pizza. And these are caramelized onions, which add delicious sweetness. I think I am gonna add a little bit of the rosemary just so it gets toasted. While you don't wanna cook the basil, you do wanna toast rosemary just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put these back on the grill. just for a couple minutes, just to sort of melt the cheese. Make sure that cheese is all nice and melted, and it is. Now we're ready to just put some finishing touches. This one is gonna take some delicious fresh basil. Just place it around, make it very beautiful. And they're both gonna have some of this flaky sea salt that I think is necessary in almost every recipe. This looks perfect. I'm ready to have Rachel and Tyler try it. Do you think it looks good? Yes. Yes. Well, this is my favorite part of the day. Welcome again. Thank you. How are you? I'm so glad to have gotten to the cooking part. This is fun. Talk to us about the recipe. 
Well, we wanted to cook something using our grill under our gorgeous new gazebo, mm -hmm. and we thought of pizza because, first of all, everybody loves pizza, and secondly, uh, we met in Italy, so we thought it's a nice homage to our like relationship. I know we were supposed to only have one main dish, but I wanted to create this summer salad for you guys, Ooh. this tomato, cucumber, avocado, lemon, and mint. It's bright, it's fresh, it keeps you cool on a summer day. It's, it's one of my favorite things uh, to make and you know let's just dig in see if you guys like it as much as we do well you don't have to tell me I've twice. been waiting for you to say that <laughs> <laughs> cheers cheers pizza cheers <laughs> bon appetit mmm <laughs> Mamma mia. The crust, that crust is perfect. <laughs> that crust That's is perfect. crunchy with a little bit of chewy on the inside. This is amazing. Okay, let's try the burrata. The burrata and basil. I think okay. you guys are gonna like it. Mm -hmm. It's all about that flaky sea salt too. It is. That is salt. That, I mean, so good. It, it's like the frosting on the cake. Mmm. Okay. There's such a difference between the two. Both delicious. One with so many different tastes and flavors and textures, but this one, simple. This one tastes mm. fresh. Yeah. And airy. I'm summer, so, so glad you guys like it. Yes, I really like it. You gotta try Ross's salad. Mm -hmm. Our friends literally have said they won't come over unless Ross makes this salad. Wow. <laughs> Taste it and then you'll understand. Oh. That is just delightful. It's just fresh. Summer. It screams summer in my mouth. And I love the heirloom, the, the color combination. And I'm a huge fan of cucumbers. Mm. So. Same. Everyone is totally bringing their A-game today. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a challenge for us at judging, but we look forward to seeing you there. Awesome. Thanks, guys. See you later. Are this almost done right here. Get some more of the yeah, veggie here. Are those, those, those vegetables done? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Use that eggplant there. Okay, let's. Okay. All right, it's all done. It needs to come on. Right. So I can see the nice barbecue. and juicy. Yes. We have and the, the tri-tip tri here on the side. Zucchini. And it's zucchini and the apples and I guess there's some uh, eggplant too, right? Oh yeah. All right, got it? Sure. All right. I'll turn up the flame here. Cheers. Hopefully we get into the finals. Yeah. Hey guys! Hey! hey. How are you? Wow, what a spread! Hey, nice, to you, you? nice to see you, Rachel. Nice to see you. Yeah. Hi. Oh my uh, we are starving. But what is this? We well, this. I'm okay. this was out here the other day. Oh, yeah, that's a surprise. That? That's a surprise for you guys. What? I love surprises. Well, we, we put together the cooler from Backyard Discoveries. Oh, you're kidding me. Wow. Oh, it's the coolest. We love it. it Look at that so thing. Good. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It opens up really easily, yes. and there's insulation on the inside, keeping things cool up to eight hours. This cooler actually has a 100-quart capacity, okay. and it's made out of acacia wood, mm -hmm. making it completely water resistant, which is perfect for a cooler where you're grabbing drinks in and out or for being outside. Yeah. And we've got a towel rack here. Right. It's perfect. What a way to complete the whole feel. Yeah, Especially since you. it's stocked up. Not for long. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Yeah. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, that's good. Very refreshing. Wow. It's our summer lemonade. It has some strawberry lemon in it, some mangoes, and some secret ingredients. So it's we like mixing things together here. This is uh, pork barbecue. Uh -huh. It's a uh, very famous Filipino dish. But the secret, I think, is the... Worcester sauce. Marinade. I have to marinate it overnight. <laughs> My mom's uh, recipe. Oh, yeah. uh, very nice. So it goes way back. Goes way back. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let's All right, 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 right. Okay. All right, I'm going to try a skewer first. My taste buds are exploding right now. Mm -hmm. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is delicious. This is the first thing I noticed, this really smoky flavor. Right. It's really a mixture of smoke, sweetness, and the texture couldn't be any more tender. This is magic meat. I can tell it was marinated overnight, for sure. Mm -hmm. Juicy, so good, thank you. It has a nice crunch, mm -hmm. but still very soft and tender. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're so incredibly proud of all of you. Thank really you. really put in a huge effort as a family and individually. Uh, thank you for your help. It's our yeah. pleasure. Yes. We'll thank see you at judging. All right. All right. Thank yeah, and thank you for lunch. Too. All right. All right. Okay. Good Great. Bye. Day five. Whew. I'm stuffed. I am so stuffed. I mean, wow. what a great day. But it's really about preparing these families to possibly host a party That's in their right. new backyard space. So, what do we think? about Carrie and Tiffany. Their teamwork was fantastic. They integrated recipes that were tried and true. So we do Taco Thursdays um, every week. Fish is my personal favorite. Some traditional Korean batter for the amazing tacos that they made. Which was really a light batter, mm -hmm. perfect for an outdoor meal. Perfectly garnished with a lime-infused shredded cabbage, the fresh diced mango, as well as the pickled onions. The presentation was amazing. It I was really great. I thought what was really creative was that they used their shelf that they repurposed from their wedding as a table station for their tiny camping oven. Yeah. And it goes to show that you don't need a large size grill to entertain and cook outside. Yeah. JG and Ross, I love the fact that they used their traditional grill as a pizza, pizza. oven. It takes skill. It does. To cook pizza on a grill. It was perfectly crispy, nice and chewy on the inside. They gave us two different dishes. We used rosemary from our garden, and in one of the pizzas, we used basil. Oh my, it was so it was fantastic. And then Ross made a salad, which was a great compliment mm -hmm. for an outdoor gathering. It was really kind of a palate cleanser. Great menu item for a backyard party, for Love sure. It. Dennis, Denise, and Victoria. <sighs> wow. Skewer heaven. I mean, I feel like <laughs> I took a vacation to the Philippines. I know. Tender, juicy. And then Victoria mentioned that she marinated them overnight. And mm -hmm. I was like, absolutely, I can tell. The flavor was ingrained in the piece of meat. Oh, the smokiness. It was so, so good. Uh, of course, the smell of the charcoal. Charcoal, yeah. Very tender, but still nice and crispy little bits of caramelized candy meat. Oof, it was delicious. Yeah, it was so good. They surprised mm -hmm. us with the cooler, which was so cool. And then they also surprised us with their homemade lemonade. It was like a non-alcoholic sangria. Yeah. It was beautiful. The bottom line here is it comes down to numbers. Somebody has to go home, and when we look at point totals for the entire five days, this family is coming in last. Welcome back, families. Woo! Great job. Everyone did so great today. We enjoyed it so much. Give yourselves a round of applause. Congratulations. So today was really more about food and entertainment. Challenge one today mm -hmm. was creating a menu item. Challenge one today was based on creativity and teamwork. Challenge two was all about taste and presentation. And we tasted some good things we today. We tasted some wonderful things. Let's start with Gigi and Ross. You had a lovely presentation and we were wowed by the fact that you cooked pizza in a conventional barbecue oven. We were really impressed with the flavor profile, the ingredients, as well as your Israeli salad. Well done. Yes. You came in to day five with a cumulative score of 77. Today's points were scored out of 20 total. Today, you got five for creativity, five for teamwork on your menu item. Mm -hmm. Five for taste and five for presentation for a total of 20 points today. Which brings you to a total of 97 points so far for the competition. Gary and Tiffany, today, the fish tacos were amazing. The flavor profile of your fish taco battered with a Korean batter that was light and crispy was a perfect complement to your tortilla with a sour cream base, your shredded cabbage with a lime profile, as well as the diced mango that really pulled the whole thing together in a perfect little pocket of savory love. We were absolutely wowed by your lemon mousse dessert. It was a perfect little portion garnished with some herbs from your garden. I want that recipe. Challenge one, your menu item. For teamwork, you got five points. Mm -hmm. And for creativity, you got five points. And for taste, you got a total of five points. And presentation, a total of five points for a total today of 20 perfect points. Congratulations. Which brings you to 97 total for the competition. Last but not least, Dennis, Victoria, and Denise. We saw an amazing presentation today of not only cultural flavors, but also history from your family infused in your recipe. You can never go wrong with a skewer at a backyard party. Mm -hmm. And I could tell immediately they were marinated overnight. Your barbecue 
is absolutely exceptional. And we really appreciated your homemade lemonade, which was an infusion of fresh fruits. Excellent job on everything, congratulations. For your menu item, you got a five for teamwork mm -hmm. and a five for creativity. For taste, you received a five. And for presentation, you received a five. For a total perfect score today of 20. Now, unfortunately, a family has to be eliminated today. Gigi and Ross, your total is 97. Gary and Tiffany, your total is 97. Denise, Dennis, and Victoria, even getting a perfect score today, still leaves you one point behind. Unfortunately, you are eliminated. However, you have a gorgeous backyard that you will absolutely be able to enjoy forever. We're really excited for you. Congratulations. We tried our best, but uh, we know it's it's a competition, and uh, I think we feel proud that we achieved where we are, and uh, life goes on. For our two remaining families, you still have tomorrow. The finale. Congratulations for making it to the final day. Get some rest, and we'll see you tomorrow. Coming up next on Backyarding. We are now down to only two families. All right, final day. We made it. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> today, you'll each have to host an outdoor party in your new backyard. So we have two goals today. We celebrate JJ's birthday, and two, win this thing. Who's gonna win a party throwing competition if not us? And guess what? We're not the only judges. That's right. Your own friends and family are going to turn the tables and tell us how you're doing too. You are the winner of Backyarding.